Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. This video is for beginners only in DaVinci Resolve. So if you've ever wanted to jump into video editing, not on your phone or a tablet and on a computer in a proper video editing software, then this video is for you. I'm gonna cover all the basics so you can get in and get started and start creating your own videos, whether that's for family or friends or, I don't know, just a hobby on the side. This video is for you. All right guys, so you wanna make your first video edit it together for the very first time in a proper editing software like DaVinci Resolve. The first step to editing any video is doing some, some sort of organization. Now, we're not gonna go super in depth into this because let's face it, this is gonna be your very first edit, but what we're gonna to wanna to do is whether it's on a Mac or a PC, you're gonna create a folder somewhere you can access really easily, call it whatever you want, my video, and in this folder, you're gonna put everything you want to use. So move all the video clips over from your camera or phone onto this file here and any music that you think you wanna use as well, chuck it in this folder. I have grabbed my music from Epidemic Sound, which is just a subscription service for royalty free music, but there is a bunch of sites out there and a bunch of free options as well. But create that folder, move all your media into that folder and what we're gonna do is from there, we're going to open up DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you haven't downloaded DaVinci Resolve already, you can just type DaVinci Resolve 16 into Google and you'll be able to download it straight from here. And I'll leave this link in the description of the video so you can download it. But what we're gonna do is open up DaVinci Resolve. Okay, and so when you open DaVinci Resolve up, it's going to come to this project browser. Now this is basically every past project that you have ever created. And by default, it also gives you an untitled one that you can just go from straight from there. Or you can create a few folders if you'd like to, so you can organize it. As you can see here, I've put some of my YouTube videos into a separate folder that I can double click to go into. And we can just go back through the file system here, back to home, and then you know I've put put them into different folders to categorize. Now, the easiest way is just to double click on the untitled project that will automatically have been created for you. So let's just do that there. And it's going to open up DaVinci Resolve. And by default, it's going to open up into the edit page. And as you can see, we have our untitled project. And what we're gonna do quickly is just go through how DaVinci Resolve is set up. So the way DaVinci Resolve works is it's split up into seven different workspaces all work differently. So they're down the bottom here and yours may be labeled, but you should at least have these icons. So we're gonna start from the very, very left. So we're just gonna click on that and move to this workspace. And this is the media workspace. All right, and if you hover over it, it's gonna show you what workspace it is. Now the media workspace is purely and simply for importing all of your media and organizing it works very well like a file browser. And we're gonna use this section to import our footage from the folder on the desktop into DaVinci Resolve. Moving to the right, we have our cut page. We're not going to be looking at this in this video, but this is just a really quick editing section in DaVinci Resolve. It's kind of like a sort of bare bones version of the edit page. So moving further across to the edit page. This is where we're going to cut our video and piece it together, add the music and all that sort of stuff. And again, like I said, the cut page is similar to the edit page, but it's a little bit more bare bones, a little bit more simple. But for this video, we're actually gonna be using the edit page. Moving on from there, we have our Fusion tab, which always takes a little bit longer to load. Fusion is for visual effects and motion graphics. We will not be looking at this at all today, but if you wanna see some of my other tutorials on Fusion, there are a bunch here and I'll leave them linked somewhere in the video. Moving from the right of that, we have our color tab. Again, it takes a little bit longer to load. This is where all the color grading and all the film looks are applied and all that sort of stuff. Uh, this is very advanced software here with lots and lots of different pages to edit your footage with, but there are some basic actions we will learn in this video. Moving to the right of that, we have our Fairlight Audio tab, which is an advanced audio mixing software inbuilt into DaVinci Resolve. We will not be touching that in this video. It will not be needed. All the, all the audio editing we can do is in the edit page. And last but not least is the Deliver tab right at the very, very end here. And we will be using this to export our video into a final playable clip that we can share to our friends and family or post onto various sites online, YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. So 
Like I said, we're gonna start by importing all our media. So we're gonna head on over to the media tab. And as you can see, it's split up into a few different panes. And the ones we really wanna look at is this top little square here, this viewer, and then the bottom section. So the easiest way to look at it is this top section here is what's viewable on our actual computer. So this is the file structure of my MacBook. Yours will show the file structure of your computer or your Mac, whichever you run on. And then I have some certain favorites down here that I have assigned. You won't have that just yet. Down here, this is our master folder. And this is specifically what's already in the project. Currently, we haven't imported anything. So there's nothing there. Now, if your screen does look a little bit different, you may have it that looks a little bit like this. That's just because you can extend certain tabs and you can turn them on and off by clicking on here, but we'll just keep it at default. So if it doesn't look like this, you might need to just press this button here, which you can see just sort of shrinks the bars down a little bit like so. So what we're gonna do now is navigate to wherever your file is. Mine's on the desktop, so I can just navigate straight to it like there. And you can see here, just like in our file browser, we have our structure. And here's the folder that we created at the start. So we're gonna double click on that. And all we're gonna do is drag and highlight all our clips and audio. And we're just gonna drag and drop right into the bottom. Generally, this warning is going to come up. And if we read it, it says the clips have a different frame rate than the current project settings. Would you like to change the timeline frame rate and the video format to match? This is going to appear whenever your videos that you have filmed do not match the current project settings. So the easiest way to just, what we're gonna always do is go don't change and then we can manually change it if we would like. So some of these clips were filmed in slow motion. So 120 frames a second, or some of them are in 4K and they do not match the current project settings. To get to our project settings, we go to our little cog down in the bottom right corner. So if we click on that quickly, you can see we have our master settings. Now, generally, if you're creating a project, it will always default to 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames a second. So that is 24 frames a second is quite standard for that filmic look. 1920 by 1080 obviously being full HD. So these are generally the settings we should keep. We do not really need to mess around with any of this for your first video. But if you want a 4K timeline and you wanna export a 4K video, all you need to do is hit this drop down and scroll down where we have our ultra HD option. That is totally up to you, but we're gonna leave all our footage and our project at stock settings. So we're just gonna cancel out of that. All right, so what we're gonna do now before we do anything is we're going to save this project. So we're gonna go file, save project, and we can now rename it. So what we're gonna call this is my first video, and we're just going to save it like so. And now you can see it's updated up the top there, my first video. And if we ever want to go back to our project folder structure, you know where we can pick our project out, we just hit this little home icon here. And now you can see we have our, my first video as labeled as such. I'm just gonna close out of that. All right, so now we're gonna jump on over to the edit tab. Like I said, we're not gonna be looking at the cut, fusion, or Fairlight page. So we're gonna go straight to the edit tab. And it looks very, very similar to how the media tab looks, except the bottom section down here is replaced with our timeline. So looking at the way this is laid out, we have our different tabs up the top that reveal or hide different sections. So the media pool is going to reveal the current media we have imported into our project that we just did. The effects tab is going to show what effects, transitions, video, audio effects that we can apply that are built in to DaVinci Resolve. The edit index is going to be basically a list of the changes that we make to the footage below. And we can take a look at this in a little bit later. And the sound library is not something we need to look at right now. As you can see, we'll all have no library connected if you've just opened this for the first time, but you can have DaVinci Resolve connected to a music library and you can just search for it through DaVinci Resolve, which is super, super helpful. But for your first video, we're just going to leave it at the media pool. Now, again, like the media tab, if this is taking up the whole length down here, we have this button here and that just shrinks it down and that works on both sides, all right? So we're just gonna have the box there. On the right-hand side, we have, that is the most common tab to have open. 
because it is sort of like the options that you have, the parameters that you can change for your video clips. We'll look at that in a second. We've got the metadata tab, which literally if we have a clip selected, we'll just show the information of that particular clip. Then we have the mixer, all right? And the mixer is just going to open or close the audio settings down there. What we're going to do is we're going to leave it on the inspector and we're going to have it dropped up like so. So hopefully your project will kind of look like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click in this section here. And what we'd want to do is create a new timeline. So we're going to right click timeline, create new timeline, and we can call it whatever we want. So start time code is an important number and video tracks, audio tracks. None of this is too important for your first video. Just name it something and then go create. And now you can see down the bottom here, we have our audio track, our video track, and we have our timeline in here. So now we can start dragging our footage onto our timeline. So if you want to review your footage and look at it, maybe you filmed a really long clip of maybe a kid of yours, like kicking a soccer ball, and you only want a little bit of the footage. What we can do here is we can double click on the footage. And now we can see we have two viewers. The right hand viewer is what is in our timeline currently. Obviously nothing is there, so we don't see anything. The left hand viewer is what is selected on the left hand side. And we can scrub through it just like you would expect we could. And if I double click on anything else, we can scrub through that footage as such and it works even for audio. So we can scrub through audio. So the great thing about being able to do this is if there is a section of the footage that we don't like, we can just cut it out. So if I look here, it gets a little weird at the end there, it gets a little wonky. All right, now we can do this with two hotkeys, I and O, all right? Or this one here, mark in, and this one here, mark out. So what I want you to do is with your first clip, find the point where you want your footage to start. And once you've found that, you're gonna hit the I key on your keyboard. You can see here it adds this dot. This dot is where the footage will start when we drag it into our timeline. And we can move, click on that dot and we can move it around and you can see that the source viewer here changes in real time to show us where that starts. And then we can drag along and find where we want the footage to stop. So I think the footage should stop there and we can click O. And again, we create our new dot and this is now the section between these two dots is what we can have in our viewer down here. So let's add some footage to the timeline. We can do it one of three ways. Okay, so we can click and drag straight from here and straight onto the timeline. And all we'll bring is the section between the white lines here, which is the white dots there. Now you can see we have our clip. And if we scrub over it with the timeline, we see it represented in the right hand viewer. But let's delete that and have a look in another way going to have the exact same effect. It's going to bring the exact same piece of footage down like so. Or if we don't want to take the audio, if we hover over this viewer here, you can see we get this little box and waveform. So we can either drag the waveform and it's only going to drag the audio or we can drag the video and it's only going to drag the video, the video down. So choose which you want to do. I think for this one, we're only going to bring the video down. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to drag it down to the bottom here and now we have our footage and what we're going to do now is i want you to do that for the rest of the clips that you have in your that you have imported so i want you to set some in and out points and bring the footage down so i'm going to click on this one and i've got this sort of rotating shot and i'm just going to go and look so i kind of like this bit here all right, so I'm gonna set the in point here, scrub forward a little bit. And I'm gonna hit my out point. And again, I just wanna bring the video in for this one. We're just gonna drag it straight down. I'm gonna do the same for this clip here. Cool, all right, so I reckon what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit I there, scrub forward a little bit. And just leave it there, hit O, and just going to drag just the video clip again down into the timeline. And then I've got one more bit of footage. And I think what we'll do is we're just going to grab this one here. So just a little bit of a walking clip, hit the I key, scrub forward a little bit. 
and hit the O, and then we're gonna drag that footage down. So now if we scrub through the timeline, you can see that we have all our footage playing on the right hand viewer. Now we can either hit play and it's gonna play all the footage back or spacebar, which is the nice easy shortcut. So by hitting spacebar, you can see it's gonna play our footage, cut to the next clip. Cut to the next clip. Now, depending on how fast your computer is, it may be a little bit choppy. So if it is a little bit choppy, you can tell by playing it back, it kind of doesn't play back in real time. It's a really easy fix. All you wanna do is go back to playback, go proxy mode, just go half resolution. All that's going to do is display this half the resolution of what you recorded it in, and it just makes it a little bit faster for your computer to handle it. So if you've got a low powered machine like me, that's what you can do there. So that's just playback, proxy, half. All right, or you can turn it off, or if it's really, really slow, you can go to quarter resolution. All right, so we have our video clips, the sections that we want, we have it on our timeline. Our video is starting to come together. Let's add some music to this. So I'm gonna dra drag this music clip, and I'm just gonna drag the whole thing. So I'm gonna click and drag down and drop it into the timeline on our audio track. Now, currently, you can see that all we have is this green bar. If you want to see the waveform of the audio, you just need to click this button here, the timeline view options, and this button here. That's going to show the waveform of that. So that, so timeline view options, click that little button there, audio waveforms. Now you can see the waveforms on the audio. And if we press spacebar, let's turn this up a little bit, play it back. All right, now hopefully you can start to see a bit of an issue is that if, when we get to the end of this clip, oh, we have a lot of song and we can move left and right or grab this thing and move it down. You can see we have a lot of song left to go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete the last bit of this song. To do that, we're gonna grab our blade tool here, the first editing tool we're going to learn. So as you can see, if you hover over any of these tools here, not only will it tell you what it's called, but it also gives you the keyboard shortcut. I'm currently set to the default, so it should be the exact same as your settings. So we're gonna select the blade tool or hit the letter B on our keyboard. And you can see that when we hover over our footage, we get a blade and a red line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hover over the end here where the clip meets, where the end of the video meets the audio and click. All right, now what we can do is go back to our arrow key. So selection mode, click that. And now we have this clip here that has been separated from the rest of the audio. All right, and really easily, all we're gonna do is click that and hit delete. All right, so now what I think what we'll do is we're gonna add a few transitions in between our video clips so that we have a more interesting video. And to do that, we're gonna go to our effects library up the top right, on the, at the top left-hand corner and we're going to scroll to the top where it says video transitions. We're gonna click on that one there. And you can see we have a few different options. If we scroll down, we've got quite a few. And really all you need to do is click and drag in between video clips. That's literally all you need to do. And you can see that it's represented there by this white box of where the transition is going to go. And all I want you to do with these ones is play around with different options. So I'm gonna do an additive dissolve for the first one. We're gonna click and drag, and if we wanna play it back, we can just go here and hit spacebar. So you can see there's an interesting effect there. Maybe what we'll do for the next one is a cross dissolve. So we're gonna drag that one over there, and if we play it back here. Okay, and as you can see, my computer is struggling to do all of this at once. So we have that cross dissolve, and then maybe we wanna do something really out there. We're gonna do an eye iris, we're gonna do that on this clip here. And if we arrow across, you can see that we have that transition. Now these transitions are controllable, so if you wanna zoom in to the timeline, you can use these plus and minus buttons, and it will zoom in to wherever your playhead is, okay? 
And all you need to do is you'll see that the cursor will change when you get to the section that you can increase and you can just make it longer or shorter and you get like a real time preview in the top right hand corner. All right, so go through and change the length of the transitions, play around with different ones. If ever you want to delete them, it's really, really simple. You just click on it and hit delete as you would think. And then you can just drag something else in. So we could just do a band wipe instead and we might even make that one smaller. And then you can hover over and then you can see sort of what's going on with that one there, okay? So play around with the different transitions in DaVinci Resolve. These are all stock transitions. So have a play, see what you like. But, you know, that's pretty much how you add transitions to the to your video. Now there is one thing. I think it'd be nice if the audio faded in and out. To do that is really, really simple. If you hover over your audio clip, you'll notice these little white markers at either end. If you click and drag those, you'll notice that it gives this weird little sort of gradient and it will pull over. Basically what this is doing is changing the volume of the clip. So the volume starts up here and then it ends down here. So if we were to play that in real time, you can hear it slowly but surely fades off. And obviously we can extend that so it's a longer fade. which looks pretty good. So let's drag this one over here. So now we have a little bit of a fade at the start as well. Awesome. All right, so now we've cut our video together. We've put the clips down on the timeline that we want. We've added a bit of music, a few transitions. All we really need to do now is just render this out, export it to a single video file that you can start to share with people. So all we're gonna do now is jump across to the very last tab down the bottom, which is the deliver tab. And what we can see here is a very, again, the whole DaVinci Resolve is very similar layout. We've got these different boxes that we can drop down and all this sort of stuff. Down the bottom here, we have our timeline that we can scrub through and hit spacebar and play through. This little section in the middle is a little bit different. This is clips. So this is just our individual clips. And hopefully you can see that the playhead is jumping around so we can play individual clips if we would like to. So what we're going to do is in the custom setting, we're gonna rename this one. So my first video, we're gonna to browse to a location. It's gonna bring up your file browser. Let's go to the desktop. Let's go my video. Let's create a new folder. So we can call this one like your export or let's call it your final and just go create. It'll automatically select that folder. We're gonna go save. So now, so now here in the location, you can see where we're saving our video to. We can scroll down. There are a lot of other settings to change, but literally this is all we need to do. All right, so you rename it, choose the location. Then we're gonna go add to render queue. All right, that's not going to export it just yet. That's just going to put it over here. It's ready to be sent out. All you need to do is hit start render and let it do its thing. All right, and now the you can tell that it's finished. It says completed, took 20 seconds. If we minimize DaVinci Resolve, we head to that file location, final. Now you see we have our video. We press spacebar. And there you go guys, that's how you edit your very first video inside of DaVinci Resolve. There you go guys, so nice, quick and easy. Hopefully you learned a little bit from this video. Like I said, it was purely for beginners. So hopefully you did take something away from this and you can go out on your own now and do your own thing. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn more about video editing. We do a lot of that here. And until the next video, see ya.